Okay, let's get started by talking about the tripod. Now the tripod is gonna be the fundamental tool that you use as a news photographer. So as such, it's very important that you know all the controls, that you're comfortable with it, and that you really understand how it works and how it can help you. Because once you get to know this, it's gonna be very flexible. You're gonna be able to get all kinds of shots with this, but you need to know how to get those shots with this. And the good news is once you know those things, it's gonna help you all across the board. It doesn't matter if you go into entertainment, sports, news, whatever you end up doing, you're gonna to need to know how to use a tripod. So it's really, really important that you focus on these controls and get this. So let's get right into the controls and the ways that you're gonna manipulate the tripod. So we're gonna start off on the controls with the locks. Okay, this is gonna be on the bottom here, your pan lock. Different tripods have these in different locations, so it's real important that you get comfortable with the tripod before you go out there to do a news shoot. All right, you wanna know all these things in the newsrooms, you're checking out your equipment before you go out there. So this is gonna be the lock here. All right, you're gonna lock your pan. Can't move it once it's locked. This is your tilt lock. This is really important because when that camera's on there and you need to look over and you don't have your hands on it right then, but you're standing next to it, you wanna make sure you got your tilt lock on so that the camera stays stable and it doesn't fall forwards and damage the camera or the equipment or anything. Okay, the other controls that we're gonna have is the bubble. We have a bubble level on there. On the bottom, there's a knob. You release that knob and then you can turn the head, the tripod head here, to get that level. So you center up your bubble, make sure it's straight in the middle, and then you lock that. And then over here, we're gonna have some tension controls. Okay, this one here controls the tension on the pan. All right, so if you increase the numbers, then it'll be harder to pan, and if you lower them, it's gonna be simpler. I suggest that both on the pan and the tilt, you keep some tension on that. I don't like to see when there's no tension whatsoever, especially on the tilt, because if that camera's on there and there's no tension, it could rock quite a bit, which could damage your equipment. Okay, and the tilt one's gonna be right here, so we're gonna see how we can move that, and then it's gonna change the numbers, and you'll change your tilt tension on that. Okay, now looking up at the top of the tripod, we're gonna have the quick release tripod controls up here. So on one side, there's a button here. On the other side, there's a locking mechanism here. So what you do is you unlock it, and then you can slide this plate forwards and backwards. Okay, when you turn that, it's gonna lock it so that you can't move that anymore. So if you unlock it, you can pull it back, and you can't pull it off because there's a catch mechanism within there. If you push this button here, you can pull this off. So when you get your tripod out of the tripod bag, it's gonna look just like this. This piece is gonna be separate. It'll be in one of the side pockets. So what you have to do is you have to line it up at the back, and you slide it in until you hear the click, and that means that it's gone past the catch right there. So now you can pull it, and it won't come off, which is a very good thing if you have your camera on there. And then once you get it to the position that you want, you're gonna hit your lock over here, and that'll keep it in place. Okay, so we've talked about some of these basic controls. Now, let's actually get the camera and put it up here and talk about how to mount it and get it balanced properly. Okay, so make sure your tilt lock is on before you put your camera on. And then you set it in there about halfway, a little bit before the front, and then you wanna push this forward until you hear a click. Okay, that means that it's secure. If you don't hear that click, don't let go of that camera. Okay, and then to release it, you push the red switch here, you pull it out, and then you can pull your camera off. Okay, but once again, when you get it up there, you wanna make sure that you get that click. The other thing to watch for is at the back of these, they have a little slide that comes in here, and it's supposed to catch on this screw in the back. I've seen a lot of times where people will come in and they'll be pushing on the front of the camera, and when they mount it, the camera ends up sitting above that screw. That is not the proper way to mount that and it makes the tripod more insecure. So what you want to do is when you put it on there, you want to check in there and make sure that that slides in, you hear the click, and at that point you know that your camera is set up and ready to go as far as being attached to the tripod plate. What you want to do now is check your balance. So you loosen your tilt and then you keep your hand on that handle, let it go. Do you see how it's starting to fall backwards a little bit? It means it's out of balance. Okay, so bring it back to center, put your tilt lock on, and then come around to the other side and loosen this up for the tripod slide plate. And then because it was back heavy, we're gonna wanna move this forward just a little bit. So I'll move it forward a little bit, I'll lock it down, and then I'll come back, I'll release the tilt lock, and then I'll see where it's at. Should, should stay where it's supposed to be, right in the center there, if it's balanced properly. Again, it's real important you get that balance properly because if you have to do any on-camera moves, then it'll make those moves that much easier for you to do. They'll look that much smoother and that much better. So when you get into that point, it'll be important that you have that balance there. And these are your tripod tips to remember. 
Always familiarize yourself with the controls before the shoot. Keep some amount of tension on the pan and tilt. Make sure the camera is locked into the tripod plate and you balance the camera by sliding the tripod plate. Okay, so you've seen the controls, you've seen a little bit the, how we set up some of these shots. And I just wanna encourage you again to say, be patient with learning the tripod. This really is an essential tool for news and then other forms of broadcast production work as well. But just be patient. I know it seems like it's a whole lot of information and it's really tough to remember all these adjustments and all these little tweaks and balances that you have to do with the tripod. But the more you do it, the more that becomes second nature and the faster you get at it. And you know, it, it's easy at first to say, well, maybe I could just get that with the handheld and not use that tripod. And yeah, those are the quick and easy ways to do it initially. But over time, the tripod really doesn't slow anybody down and you end up getting much better shots with it. So just be patient with it. Let it come to you. Take your time with it. You should know this tripod and how to use it just as well as you know the camera. And that'll come with time. It'll come with practice. And the payoff is that you'll get great shots with it then.